Well, hello everyone and welcome to day three, the final day of Super Crawl 2023. Mike Forge along with Val Cole down here at the corner of King Street North and King William. Val, it has been quite a success. We're going to hear a little bit more about that. You've been enjoying your time? I spent almost all day here yesterday, yeah. as I know you did as well. Yep. The crowds by the end of the night were so thick. And it was so exciting to be a part of that. And we can hear Chantelle Kreviazek warming up in the background. It's which a real is treat having her here. Listening that's going to gonna that. be such a great show tonight. It's going to be coming on around 7 o'clock yeah. tonight, I think it is. Uh, the rain, it, it was a little annoying, the mist during the day, but it cleared up last night for you? Do you know what? It never poured, which is great. Yeah. No, it, it misted the whole night. Okay, and, good. Um, but Hamilton, Hamiltonians are strong. Who cares? Oh, yeah, exactly. Who cares? You, you, if you come on work. down, uh, you support the local artists, you support the vendors, you see the great art, the street art, the streetscapes, uh, the free area, uh, fashion shows, music, you name it. They have it down here for the next eight hours or so. Val, we got a guest with us here, too. Well, we have, don't have just any guest. No, she's we the insider. We have Lisa LaRocco, who is the director of operations. So you're just overseeing the whole thing, right? Uh, yeah, uh, quite a bit of it. Um, a lot of the mapping, layout, um, vendors, coordinating most of what goes on, yeah. You're doing the fashion zone too. Now, Mike and I are sporting some fashions from the I got the uh, note vendors. right here. We were, uh, we, we, we had them on yesterday. They were yep. wonderful people from Certitude. Yep. So yeah, Very this nice. is all uh, pre-made or sustainable. Sustainable, the money goes back reused. To help women and children uh, yeah, in, wonderful who are in crisis. It's great. We got bees around us, everything. Um, you're also the fashion shows. You, you know a little something about that. What can we expect today for some of the fashion shows? Today we've got some great fashion shows uh, going on in the afternoon in the fashion zone at Vine Street. Uh, okay. We've got a full runway set up. They run all weekend. Um, we've got some dance performances in there as well uh, around 1230, uh, some local dance troops. Um, and we've got a little headphone dance party going on at 1 o'clock. What too, does that mean? So um, it's the silent headphones that you put yeah. on and, and uh, they'll play music through them and a little dance so party for the weekend. So if you don't have the headphones, it just looks like people randomly dancing. Yeah. Dancing in <laughs> silence, yes. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get so that's going to be fun. <laughs> it's so fun. Yeah. You, you look at, at this year and, and what it means to the city to kind of come back fully from COVID. It's, it's in the past now. What has really stuck out to you? about this year's Super Crawl? Yeah, I mean, last year was our first full Super Crawl back, um, and we thought that went great. This year, there's even more people out. I think Friday night and Saturday were even busier than last year. Um, even with a little bit of rain and mist, yeah. um, the evenings were packed. Um, so we're really seeing people come back out, support their community. The vendors uh, just say that the support and people supporting their products is amazing. So we're really happy to see that and see people having fun and, and back. It's so important, right, Val, to, that and, and yeah. to, to have the people back, to support the local community and the local arts. And you must hear a lot of positive comments about that as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we have, you know, so many people participating and so many people involved between the vendors, the food trucks, the artists, the dancers, the musicians, and really, you know, everybody is just so happy to be part of the community involved together. So it's it's really heartwarming after all the stress yeah. of the festival and putting it together to see everybody, you know, come together and the community to come and everyone supporting one another. You must be exhausted. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but you can't let up because today is just as big a day. Yes. As we yes. mentioned, Chantel Krivizazek, who's warming up uh, behind us, is uh, is going to be kicking off on just another incredible night of music. Yes. And, and one thing that, so we took, my wife and my daughter and I, we took a, a walk after we were done yesterday. We went up and down a couple times. Mm -hmm. The people watching. I know. You can know. just sit here and pe the most did interesting you see the, people come out. Did you see out. the chicken? I did not see the chicken. This woman with the chicken. On yeah. her shoulder, chicken okay. on her shoulder, and then another woman with a duck in her backpack. Live I duck. That's I saw a Darth Vader wannabe, but he was kind <laughs> of unique with horns and all this. I'm like, what's yeah, going on here? So too. it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool that Hamilton is very eclectic, multicultural, uh, and people just come out and showcase who they are. Exactly. Which is what this whole festival is about. It's all Absolutely. okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we encourage all the cool stuff as long as it's safe, as long as everybody's being safe. Not um, upsetting anyone. Yeah. Child and friendly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, safe and considerate of others. All the cool stuff that also happens is amazing. Now, I, you talked about the setup and, and the preparation and also the teardown. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes that we don't know about. 
Um, what happens once that final bell goes off at 8 <laughs> o'clock tonight? It's go time for you, I guess, right? Yes. It, uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, we have to get everything off the street by 5 a.m. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so we're here, you know, loading everybody out once again, ensuring safety while that all happens, and uh, just getting everything off the street for so tomorrow morning. So our commuters morning. Monday morning will have their streets back. Is that right. what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Organized chaos? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Fair we've, way we've of putting it? We're pretty good at it sure now. Sure um, but yeah, just, you know, a lot of things leaving the street at once and as they all came in at once at the beginning. So what would be a festival like if there wasn't the odd hiccup? I'm sure you've had the odd one and you have to put out some fires. Yeah. Yeah. There's always fires. Uh, kind of the rule of festivals is if, you know, the, the attendees don't know about it, then you've yeah. done well. Exactly. So, um, yeah, if you don't see the hiccups, then it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I watched, uh, on our first day here, I watched a food truck doing some parallel parking in a tight spot. It's amazing, You isn't think it? parking a car is difficult <laughs> in a parallel spot? I was amazed how well he did it. And it all it all worked out fine. You'd never guess. Everything's fine. All the food vendors had lineups last night, yeah. but it was moving. I walked up and down the street as you did, Mike, yep. and just wall-to-wall uh, uh, -wall people. It was fantastic. Yeah, great. S so, Lisa, I, I don't want to do this to you, but 52 weeks from now, <laughs> we'll be doing this again. Are you on board again? I'm going on vacation. No, <laughs> <just kidding>. <laughs> 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 I will. I will be here. <laughs> Anything that's kind of already being percolated and talked or thought about for next year? Um, we always try to have some like unique, interesting things that are just there of that year. Um, so this year we have the Laboule um, theater performance yeah. in the big bubble. If you saw that saw down that. on Wilson Street, there's two more performances tonight um, for that. Um, but yeah, so we always, we're already thinking of things that uh, we've seen worldwide uh, that are cool things that we can bring down just for that year. And we're- And you do a post-mortem, do you discuss what went well and what could be done better? Absolutely, yep. We try to make changes every year depending on the feedback. We survey the businesses, the vendors, everybody kind of that we work with. And, and I also would like to say and compliment you and, and the whole team here on the staff and the people that you've brought in, whether it's the, the fine men and women that keep the streets neat and tidy, whether it be the security guards, the third party contractors that you bring in. Everyone here, Lisa, has been top notch, so welcoming and in a great positive mood. You, 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 everyone has done a wonderful job this year. Thank you, I'm glad to hear that. Everyone's exhausted, so yeah. uh, they're all working really hard. So um, yeah, we've got a great team and there's you know, hundreds of them, so. Yeah. Well, the reputation for Super Crawl is uh, very high. Like this is, this is considered a, a really top notch event as witnessed by the number of vendors and artists that want to be a part of it, right? Yep, yep, absolutely. Unfortunately, we get, you know, hundreds upon hundreds of applications every year. Yeah. We do our best to, to get as many in as we can. That's why the truck was parallel parking. The street is mapped out by the foot. Um, and we try to get everything in that we can. Uh, and if not, please, you know, contact us next year. We're, we're working on making it better and getting, you know, everybody involved that we can. Pretty cool. We got Chantel Kravietz, we got Rain Maida. They're doing a little sound check right now. Val, I think we gotta take a quick break. We'll be back with more, you ready for it? Yeah. Short break Thanks. for Super Crawl 2023 right after this. Hey, that was great. You did a super job. Awesome. Well, Ah, Hamilton, we are back. We're enjoying the sound check music. We're enjoying the nice cool breeze down here. Things get underway uh, 12 o'clock. You can start to smell all the different flavors <laughs> and, and sweetness. All at once. All at once, the, the burgers, the pierogies, <laughs> you name it, man. And of course, the coffee. Oh man, thank you. We need it. Thank goodness, we, I had a late night because I was introducing uh, bands on the stage till the end of the night. So I'm a little tired. This guy, this guy right next to you is your hero. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, uh, Jason Hoffing is here from Relay Coffee Roasters. Thank goodness, because you're just down here on the Lister Block. And um, I, I've got my, my uh, mocha, and it was fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I'm just so excited. Are you, how's the coffee business during Supercrawl? 
It's been awesome. So this has been our best super crawl because this is our third year on King William. And so this has been a fantastic turnout this year. And my team is busy and everyone's leaving happy. And it's just, it's awesome well to be a part of it. And as a business owner, let's face it, Jason, you're juggling a lot of things in the air. You had a store on concession everyone knows about, no longer yeah. there. You've also opened a new place at the Staircase Theater, which is perfect for you as, a yeah. as someone who loves the theater and the stage and a, and a director of some sort. Yeah, so I went to school for theater, and it's been great when the opportunity came to be a part of like an arts incubation hub of what the Staircase is yeah. with its movie theater and performances with the Fringe Festival. And so it really feels great as a business to give back to some of what my passions and love is. And so, yeah, so we have our cafe open Wednesdays through Sundays, uh, 9 till 4, uh, because it's such a beautiful yeah. space with the tall ceilings yeah. and the amazing spiral staircase. So it's a great, unique cafe in the city, and then it feels so great to be a part of that. And here you are uh, on uh, James North, uh, the, yeah. the Lister Block. You're on actually on King William, but you have found some really cool spots. How I mean, people are clamoring for, for retail space, and you've yeah. managed to find these really eclectic but amazingly available spots. Yeah, because I love the city, and so, and it's finding those unique corners and spots and being, and then just having a little bit of a creative vision to see a little maybe outside the box and stuff like that. I'm like, and because I think that's what people look for. They're looking for creative spaces. They're looking for places outside the home that they can just kind of sit, enjoy, and enjoy the ambiance, but then enjoy a really great cup of coffee. And compared to the, the big corporations out there, what's great with Relay is it, it's really a community-based oh. coffee hub. You get to know your customers, their likes, their you talk personal stuff. You, it, and that's what you want when you drop down your couple bucks for a coffee and a bagel. Yeah, that's always been the vision for what really Relay has been about, which is about customers and that connection. You know, it's not a just about product. It's about just an experience because we know that coffee is just a break in the day. People just want to, I got to get away from work. Yep. I, need to, I need like 10 minutes to myself. And they don't and need the more <laughs> stress when they go to a coffee shop. No, no. exactly. No, they don't need more stress. Well, you know, they just need that energy pick me up. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, and so I'm so happy that the team, again, my team is amazing. That's They're so great. friendly. Uh, and we've gotten, to, I've gotten to know so many amazing and great people in this city. And that's just been so awesome. So much so that they've asked you to be a part of a super crawl. You're a zone leader. What's I am a zone leader. What's a zone leader? <laughs> Do you even know? Well, <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't know. well I, Lisa was just on to be like, it's a bit of everything. <laughs> okay. Um, but I love Supercrawl so much. So, like, I love having a business that's, like, be a part of it. But then I'm also like, let me get into the nuts and bolts and help out and assistance. Because Sonic Onion, who hosts this, work incredibly hard. And I've been a part of Supercrawl as a vendor. And, and I know how hard they work. And to be a part of that and be like, how can I help? is what it is and so uh i've worked with them so i'm entrusted with volunteers to kind of make sure that everyone they're the eyes and ears to You're make sure coordinating all the volunteers no. oh. <laughs> not all okay. my so zone my your zone your zone volunteer zone what's your zone my zone is the delicious food trucks <gasps> And not, so not a bad gig. Uh, not a bad gig. They must like me because they put me in the best location with the main stage and the food trucks. Uh, and so I'm in charge all the uh, from the main stage all the way to um, York and Wilson here. Yep. And the idea is that uh, the volunteers, we are the eyes and ears to make sure everyone's having a good time, to make sure people are kind of behaving. And if there are any issues, that we make sure that they're addressed appropriately. And uh, we have a great team of volunteers who just kind of come out, again, more community spirit minded. How can we get involved? How can we just make a really great experience Love for it. everyone who comes? Jason yeah. Hoffing, owner of Relay Coffee Roasters. Check them out while you're here at Supercrawl. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jason. We're not going to a break. I okay. thought we were going to a break, but that's okay. Well, I think we've got... Uh, we've got some makeup artists coming yeah, on. Yeah, we're going to make a little switch. Let's talk a little bit switcheroo. more about these uh, shirts and all that that we got. Again, through uh, the, the wonderful guests that we had on yesterday, Certitude, it's a sustainable detail. lifestyle. Now, remember when Dino came out yesterday? He had, like, buttons undone to here. I yeah, can't do that because I, I don't look like Dino under this. I started that way, and they asked me to... S you, button, have to you have to go up no. more. <laughs> So you, okay, so we're both <laughs> up. But here, just so we all know what their story is, they work with girls uh, from the Department of Probation and Child Care, creating beautiful pieces of jewelry, promote handmade arts and crafts, 
uh, all through Sri Lanka and so on and so forth. So go check them out. 123 James Street North. Uh, wonderful place. Wonderful. I'm feeling actually kind of cool in this linen. Mm -hmm. You feeling cool? Yeah, linen's good for the summer because it is good. still technically summer. It's <gasps> good. Well, here we Who go. Do we have? What happened here? The magic this of television. Is Hi, amazing. Olivia. We have a makeup artist and a, and a model for us. Yeah. Would you do us a favor and look up so that we can see your amazing face? Thank you so much. That camera right in the middle and has your pretty face. Oh, and that one over there now has your pretty face on it. <laughs> and a big smile? Yeah. Big smile. There we go. There Olivia, we go. great in grade four, nine years old, St. Joseph's School. And, of course, mom's here as well. Mom's here as well. An EA at St. Joe's as well. Yeah. Down here for Supercrawl. That's right. How'd you get into the face painting side of things? Um, well, I have terrible ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Fair and enough. And one day I was at the art store and uh, I saw Snazzer face paints sitting there and I was like, oh, I need to try these. So I bought them all and I went home and she wasn't even born yet. I practiced on her older brother and that's how it she started. She face painted on her belly. She face painted yeah. on her belly. You on your belly while you were in there. Yep. Because I do maternity belly art as well. Yeah. So, so that's a very unique it is. Uh, niche market. 100%. And is, is there the excitement out there for it? This oh, is what moms want? 100%, yeah. Moms, they want to, um, they want, a lot of moms want a unique way to celebrate their pregnancy. Yeah. And that's yeah. one of the ways. But it's, it's trendy and fun. And you also will get hired for their birthday. Birthdays. Yeah, that's right. Get, get hired for birthdays. Let me ask you: Do you do you do you uh, face paint tattoos on guys with bigger stomachs? <laughs> I do. <laughs> as do a you? matter of fact, that <laughs> is one of the services that we provide. <laughs> Sorry, Val. I do. Uh, I do airbrush <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> Where's your booth set up here? My booth is set up in front of I Fiori, just okay. between Canon and Vine. Amazing. Good yeah, stuff. Olivia, thank you so much for being here. Give us another smile into camera. There we go. All righty. We are going to be taking a very short break, but more Super Crawl 2023 right after this. Let's focus in on Olivi Olivia as we get out of here. Did it tickle? Looking good. Did See? it tickle? The Super Crawl 2023. We're back live down here, James Street North and uh, King William. Great to great to have all the guests on today. We got a treat for you right now. Um, <laughs> Val's kind of excited here. You heard them playing in the background during our last interviews. Of course, we're talking about Chantel Kravitz and uh, Rain Maida. Great okay. to see you both here. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I worked in radio for many, many, many years, and I've been playing your songs for many, many, many years, and thank this is a true thrill for me. Thank you for joining us. I rarely get to look people in the eye and say thank you for that, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's going to be a music. killer show tonight. Are you yeah. guys ready for the crowd? Well, I mean, you're yeah. used to it, but. <laughs> we have, this is our first Super Crawl. I'm really excited. Yeah. It's been going on for 15 years now. 6.45, you're on stage. We just got word from Tim Podosek, the, the head honcho down here. No doubt uh, we will be packed down here. How is it working together? H how have you enjoyed the experience? <laughs> He's never worked with his wife. I've I never had to work with to. my wife as she reaches out to hold his hand <laughs> and say, honey, I love working with you. <laughs> it comes with its challenges. <laughs> Communication's key. I left my phone in the Uber this morning. That went really well. So is there an Uber driver right now with Chantel Kravitz? No, we got it back. Oh we got it back, gosh. and it was, you know, it was intense. It was like I the great escape. Your, your soundtrack <laughs> sound or your sound check sounded a little uh, 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 harsh. Yeah. Was, was he taking it out on you? I'm joking. It sounded amazing. No, you got you guys sounded really well as you get things ready. Uh, you came in from Toronto. You're here for the day. So are you going to try to experience some of what Super Crawl is all about? Is this is your first time attending? Yeah, walking sure. up and down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's such a unique, just cool festival. I, I, we're here for the day. Good stuff. Yeah. Food trucks galore. Are you guys? Are you guys yes, food truck? Well, I'm looking awful. at the pierogies right there. Had yeah. them yesterday. Open yet. Had them yesterday. So good. So are good. Are they potato cheese? Are they? Uh, there's a mixture. Potato? Classic, oh, nice. spicy. You name it. They're wow, all there. Yeah. And there. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm You're gonna love so it. You're gonna love off it. Off we go. And then a fruit smoothie uh, place just next door. If you feel so a little yeah, lighter yeah, yeah. before yeah. the show, yeah, it exactly. makes you feel healthy that you just had all this 
junk food in you, and then you go up and perform. But because you don't want to be too heavy <laughs> on stage. What are you stage. calling junk food? <laughs> well, I don't. When you start loading all the extra toppings on it and all that, the right? The sour cream, I know. The sour oh cream, gosh. the bacon bits, Terrible. all that good stuff. Terrible. Talk to us about the performance. What people can expect to see from you, uh, two fine individuals tonight. Uh, I mean, a lot of it's based off the movie from our documentary. The uh, music from the our documentary. Yeah, the music from our documentary. We haven't even had coffee. I'm still yet. waking up. Hey, uh, we, we got yeah. someone to get you coffee. <laughs> Chantel and Ray need coffee. <laughs> we had relay roasters here. Um, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of that, a lot of kind of the, the songs that were written during that documentary. And then we kind of mess around with each other's songs a little bit to different arrangements, a couple covers. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's, it's, uh, it's a very holistic show. How does this schedule when you're performing with Chantel? How does it uh, blend with your Our Lady Peace schedule? I mean, how do you it make it work. Yeah, we just try to. I make it work for him, mm. so he <laughs> makes it work for me. There's equity there. There, it's yeah. Very cool. Very, very true. <laughs> let, let me ask you how music has evolved over the last number of years. Oh, is this question going right to you? <laughs> no, I'm just. I can hear his voice, so I'm like, I'll just, I'll just read your mind and answer the question. <laughs> but music has really evolved. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, and since you started, and, and, and of course you reign wi with your band, where are we at with music right now? Are you liking where it's going, where it's at? Can I still think a great song's a great song, you know? And you can hear that even in, there's, and, and really I think that anything is possible. It's like you can like chill. I, I like non-lyric music when I'm not performing and just listening to music personally. Okay. Somebody else might like EDM, somebody else might like rock, like the nice thing is that it's, it's all out there and available, and a great song well is a great it song. Well, it is yeah. all out there. Getting noticed is a little different than it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. You had to get on a chart. You had to get radio play. Yeah. And now, as, a, as an emerging artist, how, how would you coach them on getting noticed? Well, we have a son We're going through it with our son, who artist, just made yeah. it just, yeah, he, he has a song that comes out tomorrow, and then the EP to follow. It's, yeah, it's a And it's really good, but it's like, it's like excellent, but it's like, how do you propel that? He doesn't like social media. Oh, yeah. okay. So is he having is, is he having some of the similar challenges that you two had as you were evolving? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think he's a like he plays and sings and writes all his own stuff. So I think him his his journey is going to be a lot of like live playing, and that's how people find out about him. He'll have to do socials a bit, but definitely the live thing is, which is great because. A lot of kids just make music in their bedrooms and don't even want to go play yeah, a lot. So there's ah. a lane there. He can go okay. out and perform. And, and, and he can have people kind of doing the social for him at some point, maybe. Maybe. And or but or just the public does it. D yeah. People just start there using you your music and something goes viral. Cause just How many whatever. years does it take to find your sound? Oh, I'm still doing that. Really? Sure. Today I touched on something that I felt was like, oh, you know what? This feels... Like a like a I've elevated again or whatever, uh, but I mean he might then he might say that thing you were doing please don't do that you know <laughs> okay right so well I was gonna say that <laughs> 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 so it's like it's it's this sort of <laughs> dance yeah you know like life it, well and and that's what you try you things yes you you try things you try they work things, great they, work, they, they can be work. happy accidents as yeah. Bob Ross used to say on his paintings totally. uh, absolutely. like how I pulled out that old seventies eighties <laughs> thing there. that was pretty good eh. Um, Rain, w when you are ready to, you know, kind of oversee everything and, and look back a little bit, what are some things you're going to take away from you do, from your career, do you think? Gee, babe, he's got you, like, retiring or what something. What was the last <laughs> part? That truck was driving by. Yeah, I know. I, I forget what I asked. Now, what are you going to look back on, on your career, working with your wife, having the, having the kids and their music? Like highlights, lowlights? Highlights, so lowlights. It. Yeah, I mean, it. I, it's, it. it's all still moving, you know. I, yeah. It's, yeah, I try to... I think early on in my career I was never really in the moment like some major things happen and you just kind of I was always thinking towards the future and now basically it's really about just being in the moment like literally yeah. this I'm gonna enjoy every second of it Good for you know, you. my I grandpa used to say I wasn't telling but wait go, go ahead my grandfather used to <laughs> say Dini because that's what he called me Dini life is dinner and he was trying to tell me just be in the moment because that's all there is so that's what we'll do. We'll play the concert and be in the moment. I love that. Did you want to finish that. your thought? We got less than 40 <laughs> seconds. No, you're, we're, we're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, after tonight, what's next for you two? We are, we're actually like, we're, we're finishing a record, oh my God. a new album, and we're writing a book at the same time. So people can follow us uh, as we do that, which is Rain, nuts. Chantel, thank you both so much. We got to yeah, go. Thank you. Appreciate it.
Thank Appreciate you. your time. It's been a short, sweet visit. Thank you so much. Good luck tonight. Thank Super you. Super Call 2023. Make sure you come on down Hamilton, support local artists. See you Amazing. next time. Thank Take care. you. No, it's Amazing. Amazing.